Daniel and I are headed out on an epic ski adventure this weekend. We've been invited up to explore Big White, which is consistently ranked as one of Canada's top ski resorts. And we've brought some friends with us. Hi. Not only is Big White an amazing mountain to ski, it's also got the full package. This is how you spend an epic winter weekend here at Big Life. All right, we have made it here to the main village at Big Light. Everything really happens surrounding this village. You have your restaurants, you have the rental shops, and then you have your ski lifts to get up the mountain. Dan and I got to Big White before the rest of the crew. And rather than sitting around, we decided to make use of our time and go snowshoeing. I haven't actually snowshoed at Big White and I've been skiing here for 20 years. Would you consider yourself a professional snowshoer? Yes, hence the rentals. Well, you were quick. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. All right, Dan, after an afternoon of snowshoeing, what are you feeling? We're gonna go to the woods, grab some food, and just hang out for a bit on the patio. I'm excited, we got Caesars, we got burgers. It's gonna be a good bite. Double patty. I'm a happy boy. The woods is definitely the place to come after a day on the slopes, or in our case, snowshoeing. It's right in the middle of the village. It has a very good patio atmosphere. The bergs are delicious. After finishing our burgers, we headed on over to our ski-in, ski-out accommodation. The place was stunning, and the location could not have been any better. This was the perfect place to host our six friends for the weekend. Now, a cool service that we used this weekend was Vacation Foods. Essentially, I went onto the Vacation Foods website, I selected all of the items that me and my friends wanted to eat this weekend, then upon checking in, our kitchen was fully stocked with food on the counter and in the fridge, ready for us to enjoy. We have plenty of chips, wine, muffins, cinnamon toast crunch, all the essentials, and then steaks in the fridge. So we're gonna be eating good this weekend. After settling in, Dan and I went to Snowshoe Sam's to grab a bite to eat before we made our way down to Altitunes, which is the music festival that Big White was hosting this weekend. Altitunes is a two-day music festival that happens at the end of every ski season. I had so much fun at this festival last year, so I knew we had to go back. All right, guys, we are here at Altitudes, and look, I found friends. Hey. Honestly, there are few things that are more fun than hanging out on top of a mountain, listening to amazing music, and dancing the night away with your best friends. After a late night out, it would have been nice to sleep in. But unfortunately, we didn't have time for that. We had to get up bright and early as there had been a ton of snow overnight and we were going to ski first tracks. Zach, how are we feeling? I'm very, very excited to ski today. It looks beautiful out there. And we got a great crew today. Allison, how are we feeling? Good, nervous. Have you been skiing for like your entire life? Yes, <laughs> never have anyone filming me. <laughs> I'm Liam, and I've taught a big white seven years. We're gonna uh, enjoy some fresh Okanagan powder this morning. Skied big white for 20 years, never done first track, so uh, this is a new day. I'm excited. Stoke is high, fresh powder, awesome condition. <laughs> Snow was absolutely amazing. You can't beat it. It's true. Yeah. It's champagne powder, baby. Right after first tracks, we met up with Don and Sean for a completely free tour around the mountain. I've been to Snow Who's Here. This is my sixth season and I love it. Hey, I'm Sean. I love meeting people from all over the world and showing them around this beautiful mountain. Prior to today, I had no idea that a snow host was even a thing. These guys are volunteers who are just extremely passionate about skiing and all they want is for you to have a good time while you're on the hill. They'll take you around to all of the coolest spots on the mountain. And the best part is, it was completely free. Hey, 
Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thank you guys. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> so we are here at Gem Lake and we ran into two of our other friends, Natasha and Rebecca. We're here for the snow, we're here for the friends, we're here for the food. It's also like so nice up top. I woke up, I looked out of the condo, there was too much snow, which was gorgeous, but I was like, ooh, this is really not very nice. And then sun came out, and now it's lovely. Time to get back on the mountain. So the cool thing about this run is that there really is no run. It's kind of just down the mountain. What was your favorite part? Just seeing you guys and just having fun with my friends. And Aww, you guys so are the best. Now that we had the full crew together, it was time to feast. We are having some bubbly to celebrate the weekend. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. How was the skiing today? So freaking fun. So good. So fun. Big white delivered. 10 out of 10. One of the things that we decided to do while we were up here was cook a meal at home. There's plenty of restaurants to go to, but there's something nice about being with some friends, cooking a meal. <laughs> And the food has been prepared by a lovely group of people. We're gonna eat some good food, and then we're gonna make our way down to the music festival. Should be a good time. After that unreal meal with the friends, we made our way down to Altitudes for the second and final night of the music festival. We had to go back to the condo and get warmer clothes because we were very ill prepared. Give it an estimation on the temperature outside right now. Minus 10. Okay, wow, so you didn't even flinch. Ali said minus 10. I saw the sign down in Happy Valley, it's minus four. Oh, okay. It ain't that bad. But in my defense, <laughs> it feels very cold. Y'all, I don't know what to say about <laughs> Come join us. We spent an evening at Altitudes and now we came back to the condo and we jumped in the hot tub. What a nice way to end the evening. I'm having the best time of my life and I love hot tubs. Okay, that sounds a little salesy. So Allison and I just made a breakfast run. We got all the goods. We were able to just walk from our accommodation to T-Bar Cafe to grab some breakfast sandwiches, some coffees, and some smoothies. Friends, has breakfast? So good. Now that we'd had a bite to eat, Dan and I could head on over to what I think is probably one of the most unique activities on Big White, and that's dog sledding. I love dogs. I'm There's... actually not a dog person, so <laughs> this is gonna be great. There is no shortage of dogs There's here. There's 35 dogs here, all Alaskans. Yeah, and all here because they're either just chilling and retired or they're here to pull sleds and they love it. on dog sledding. It's tons of fun. I actually got to learn how to drive the sled. Highly, highly recommend. Now it's time to grab a bite of food to eat with the friends at the Bull Wheel. The Bull Wheel was another great place to grab some food for lunch. It had a nice pub atmosphere. That being said, there are so many different places that you can choose from. We also went to a restaurant called Globe, which was a bit more upscale, and they also had some live music play. And then we went to a sushi bar and had sushi on top of a mountain. I thought that was pretty unique. Cheers. Alrighty, buddy, there it is, an epic winter weekend here at Big White. What did you think? Yeah, we ate food, we skied, we snowboarded, we snowshoed, we dog sled. This place really has everything. We'll be back, Big White. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much, and I'll see you all in another one. <laughs>